Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. iOS 18 has brought new features and enhancements, and one of the most notable is the expanded customization options for Control Center. In this video, I'll share my top tips for customizing your iOS 18 Control Center so you can make it truly your own. Let's go. To access the updated Control Center, ensure your iPhone is running iOS 18. Now organized into groups, the Control Center provides easier access to your most used settings. Swipe down from the home screen to reveal three pages. The Favorites page is marked with a heart icon. The Music or Media page is presented with a musical note, and the Connectivity page is marked with a network icon iOS 18 also makes customizing your control center easier than ever. Instead of going to Settings, you can now directly add or remove controls from the control center itself. You can even rearrange and resize controls to suit your preferences. To begin editing, long press the screen or click the Add icon in the top left corner. If you must resize a control, Use the handlebar in the bottom right corner and drag it to make it bigger or smaller. Similarly, drag to resize and rearrange the controls until you have reorganized the control center page to your satisfaction. If you want to add a new control, still on the editing screen, just click the add a control option at the bottom. The main part of the gallery has a selection of suggested controls. And if you scroll down, you'll see options organized into categories. There is a search interface right at the top, so if you're looking for something specific, you can just search for it rather than swipe down to locate it manually. Find the option that you want to add and tap on it. You can later rearrange and resize it as shown before. You can keep adding new control center pages or screens. All you need to do is to go into editing mode, then go to the last page. Here, tap add a control and choose a new control for the page. The new control will be added to the new page. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.